And you may die, perhaps even rot away before my very eyes, but that will not help you. I can wait as long as it takes, long after those insatiable worms have finished their repulsive feasting. In the end, I will discover that secret thou hast been concealing from me since the first dusty cobweb appeared under the eaves of this home, and since the first wrinkle marred thine already pale and bony forehead. But for now, behave yourself. Can you not see we have a guest at our table? Sit down, sit down. Welcome to this humble table. My name is Castula, for that was what my parents so desired. It is a great rarity these days for footsteps to echo through these lonely halls. And believe me, yours have not gone unnoticed. What dost thou seek here? Dost thou crave the same fate that befell so many unfortunates who ended up possessed by the very gold they sought to make their own? Yes, this manor is awash with mysteries, secrets, and curses. If only I could find the hiding place of my brother Trifon's manuscript, perchance I might have at least one less mystery to solve. How deluded you are. Did you think you could keep it from me any longer? Do not listen to this brother of mine, dear visitor. Do not believe his untruths. What... What does this mean? It's blank. I can't hear you. Where have you gone, Trifon? Don't leave me. Stay. Even with intrigues. Even with secrets. I no longer hear your voice. I do not believe you have gone. Is this another of your deceptions? I no longer... I do not believe... Is this another of your... Dark sockets of your skull no longer return my gaze. What memories, what old dreams have taken you from us?
allow me to present you with a new piece for your silver altarpiece.